Good morning everyone, so today we're at the infamous Ford. It's the Ford Mondeo, so I think this is a 2 litre Duratorque TDCI and it's a 2011 model. So customers complain as the engine management light is on but there is no, there's no complaints, it drives fine. Now look at that, average 52 miles the gallon, that's okay, we're 105,000 miles on the clock. Anyway, let's go to the scan. And the PCM complains about a P246 particle filter, then another particle filter, then vehicle conditions incorrect for particle filter regeneration, so that means it's stopping it. I think this is a big one, a P269F colon 00-28 exhaust after treatment glow plug circuit open. And the next one is grill shutter A performance stuck, so we'll no worry about that one. But what's the cause and what's the effect? I would say that guy's the cause, and these are all the really, one, two, three are the effect. So we need to go. This is like a glow plug, it goes into the exhaust, and I believe there's actually a test you can do where is this the one it's, it sprays diesel in to get the the DPF up to a certain temperature, so let's go back, let's go back, let's look at the actuation tests. There's grill shutter, glow plug duty cycle, grill shutter command, oh there's not much on that right now. Let's see, special functions, we'll not do a regen because it'll just come back. No. So we need to go after that glow plug. So let's go and look at the wiring diagram and see if indeed this has it. Now, there's the thing, I'm under the car and it goes into the exhaust, so this is a hard shot. So see up there. Right, I'll try and illuminate it. Right, right in the middle of the picture. That's the thing there that I want into. So get the, I'll show you for the other side. There's the connection point and it goes into it. See it up there. So I want to check for continuity, see if I've got power and ground through that. Maybe got a blown fuse right enough. So I've back probed into that circuit there, it goes into that injector going into the exhaust. So I'm on the red wire, my green probe goes into the red wire. But even when we clear the code, I'm still getting a ground there and the other side is a permanent ground, so I need to disconnect it and see what I'm left with, but maybe it's a fuse or maybe it's an open circuit in that injector. There you go, that, that's what I'm getting at the red side, even when we run it and even when we clear the fault code. So we put the vacuum gauge onto this, and you can see, so we try to pull a vacuum, no vacuum, so that's good, that's what you want. So it seems to be clear enough. So we discovered that fuse 14, this 15 amp fuse down here, so already I'll check it out. One side's good, another side's good. So that fuse is good. So we're a little confused about this. It's called the fuel preheater. Why it's flagging a code, but when we leave it connected now, there's no code. But when you disconnect it, we're coming up with a code. So it seems good. So maybe just need to try and get the stuff and do a regen on it and see how it goes. Fuse 14, is that that idea? Yeah. No. Well, that was the one it said. So I thought I'd check the loading of the DPF since that code's not coming back. So we're at 185%, so I've seen them more than that. So let's try and do a regen. Well, I don't think it'll want to do it. Well, let's just read the codes again. Read fault codes, retrieve. So vehicle condition and correct for particle fault or regen. So let's take it outside and try, if no, we'll try DPF Doctor. So we used the old DPF Doctor and went right at the DPF, cleaned it out, and we've cleared that code. Now we couldn't clear the code by just driving it. I had to tell it it got a new DPF put on it and I'll show you that. So the one that's coming back is this exhaust after treatment glow plug circuit open. So if that's fuse 14, like we think it is, we need to install this guy here. So that's the... Uh, the thing it goes into the exhaust so that must be kaput because that's what it's complaining about now so 
I would believe this would be a right pain to get off, but it'll be like getting out a lambda sensor. So we need to ask for the customer's permission before we go ahead. But I'll show you the procedure I've done in order to get the DPF code to clear. So go back out of that. So we've got special functions. We went into service functions up the top here and we went reset the diesel particulate filter learn values. So once I've done that, it then went back to, it got rid of the 202% and went back to something like 29% the afternoon we run about. So I'll let you see. So read data stream. And then we type diff. Uh, not one too many, so we'll just take a lot of these. Okay, dokie. So you can see we're at 29%, so before we were at 202%. This DPF percentage, maximum suit loading inferred, that's 185%. I couldn't get rid of that even after a reset. Told it had a new DPA, so. Don't know. But that's not what's bringing the light on, as we've seen. And actually, the only way to clear the codes was actually in OBD. And you can see under here, we can go right into OBD, which is handy. So we'll go into OK. Read fault code. So exhaust after treatment glow plug circuit open. And that's pending. So that's what's causing, oh, when we drive about, we're getting an engine malfunction. Let's see if it shows us again. We're getting an engine. Right, maybe the doors open. There we go, engine malfunction. Oh dear, our wiring diagram may be wrong. I just decided to check all the fuses, so watch this. Good there. Nothing there. So let's see. And that one's good. I know the rest are good, it's just this one. So what number's that already? Number... Number nine. We didn't care what that is, but we'll just replace it anyway. See if it blows. It's an awful coincidence, eh? Nah. Did it pop? So let's see if it clears the code. Well, I don't know, but uh, we've not getting uh, an engine warning light up anymore after replacing that fuse. So let's plug it in and see so if that's get... been where it is, because look. So we've still got that DTC exhaust after treatment, but it says fault not present in the current or previous drive cycle. So that fuse, what fuse was it again, Ronnie? Fuse, oh, yeah. fuse number eight. eight. Fuse number eight, so. Eight nine? Eight nine? Let's see if the code will clear. We'll take it a clear fault memory. Okay, read fault memory, retrieve, nothing there, so let's read data stream, I don't know where it's got, glow, vaporize and then feedback, let's start up. Don't know, we're going to take it a drive and we'll look at the differential pressures at the same time. We'll graph it, see if it comes back. So there you can see our vaporizer glow plug relay is on. So it seems to be quite happy with that. We've not got any codes on the engine. And uh, we're up to 50%, but of course, that's going to increase when we drive this thing. So the very fact that this guy's on, he's putting diesel into the exhaust to try and re do partial regenerations, or some regeneration to get the, the DPF hot to uh, do the business. And you can see we're not getting very high here, we're only getting to 20 kPa, which is but Well, this is when we're accelerating. I don't know, the figures look no too bad to me. Keep driving. So I think we'll call that a fix. The vaporizer is on, and we're coming down. Our pressure's, we're down to 28% loaded. So we're, we did hit 62, but we're coming down nicely there. So just a nice long drive, and... Uh, I think would be good the to go with gas this. temperatures. So you can see there, 
at 575, at that one there, and the other one's at 430 de degrees, so it's still doing a regen as we drive. This figure's taking a long time to come down 130, but it's coming down. We're at 24%, and when Roddy boots it, I think we're under 10 kp, so there's minimal in the exhaust, so it takes a while to correct itself. So, so after a long run, you can see our vaporizer has finally went off. Our diesel particulate is down at 80%. Uh, we're at 300 degrees and 500 degrees, so that's the regen over now, so we're quite happy with that. And our lights never came on. Let's just check for codes. Make sure I'm not telling you any lies. Retrieve. There we go, it is a fix.